Alexander, the religious education assistant at the First Unitarian Church of Salt Lake City. Continuing our theme of imagination this month, we're going to learn about author and occasional Unitarian Universalist Ray Bradbury. He was born in 1920 in Illinois. His family made their way out west looking for employment during the Great Depression, eventually settling in Hollywood, California. He married his first love, Marguerite McClure, and had four children. Ray Bradbury wrote some of the most creative stories in American literature. The New York Times said that Ray Bradbury was the author most responsible for bringing science fiction to the literary mainstream. Although he rejected being called a science fiction writer almost as much as he rejected being called a Unitarian. He called himself a fantasy writer, explaining that science fiction is a depiction of the real Fantasy is a depiction of the unreal. And as for religion, Bradbury called himself a delicatessen religionist, taking religious inspiration from many Eastern and Western religions. He did see his writing career and creative vision as a gift from the divine. Bradbury said, we must move into the universe. Mankind must save itself. We must escape the danger of war and politics. We must become astronauts and go out into the universe and discover the God in ourselves. Ray Bradbury knew at the age of 11 that he was going to be a writer and worked hard toward that goal. He made time to write every day. In a story which reminds me of his classic novel, Something Wicked This Way Comes, Bradbury says a carnival entertainer called Mr. Electrico touched him on the nose with an electrified sword, which made his hair stand on end as Mr. Electrico shouted, live forever! <laughs> Bradbury remarked, I felt that something strange and wonderful had happened to me because of my encounter with Mr. Electrico. He gave me a future. I began to write full time and I have written every single day of my life since that day. When Ray Bradbury died at the age of 91 in 2012, there was an outpouring of praise for his creativity and for his contributions to individuals and society. The LA Times said he could write lyrically and evocatively of lands an imagination away, worlds he anchored in the here and now with a sense of visual clarity and small town familiarity. He also had a knack for describing futuristic technology like ATMs, Bluetooth earbuds, and artificial intelligence long before they became reality. Barack Obama was the president at the time of Bradbury's death, and he released this statement. For many Americans, the news of Ray Bradbury's death immediately brought to mind images from his work, imprinted in our minds, often from a young age. His gift for storytelling reshaped our culture and expanded our world. But Ray also understood that our imaginations could be used as a tool for better understanding, a vehicle for change, and an expression of our most cherished values. There is no doubt that Ray will continue to inspire many more generations with his writings, and our thoughts and prayers are with his family and friends. So I say, pick up a classic Ray Bradbury story today and get lost in imagination. Thank you for joining me for another edition of UU of the Week. To learn more about exciting Unitarian Universalists, go to uuoftheweek.org. Until next time.